Hi, my name is Tyler Bragginson, and I'm an Applications Manager for Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can utilize external text files to control global variables in SOLIDWORKS. By taking a look at our model, we can see that the dimensions are all being controlled by some form of equation. In this case, they're being controlled just by global variables. To take a look at our global variables, we can come over to our Equations folder, right-click, and choose Manage Equations. If you're just setting up global variables for the first time, you'll find your equations under Tools, Equations. Here you can see the global variables that I've already applied. We have values controlling the block, as well as the peg on top, and here's their current values. Now I can always change these values right here in the interface by clicking and changing the value to something else. Doing so, we'll rebuild the model and we can see our new design. However, at times, we'd like to be able to control all of these very quickly from an external source. To do that, we want to link our global variables to an external file. I'll go ahead and check this option on. And you can see I now can choose to link to an existing file if I've already created the file and put it together or I can create a new file altogether. Let's create a new file. It's going to go ahead and use the last location you saved one of these files to. If not, you can go ahead and browse and change the location to wherever you'd like and give it a new name. Next, you can see I can choose exactly what I want controlled by this text file. I'm going to go ahead and control all of my global variables as well as the equations, which basically just set the dimensions equal to the individual global variables. By hitting link, I'm now controlling those global variables with this text file. Let's take a look at the text file. I'll hit open and we can see my text file open. You can see it's very simple. The name of what's being controlled equal to its current value. Same with the equations. If I want to go ahead and override these values, I can change them individually by going and typing in my new values. Once my new values are keyed in, I just need to save my file. And then I'll close it and return to SOLIDWORKS. Notice that the, file, the values have not updated yet, but that's easy enough to just do a quick rebuild. We'll update my files and my dimensions. I can hit OK. And now I have an entirely new model that's being controlled by that text file. You'll notice in that interface, the, the values are grayed out, so I can't control them here. I have to go control them from the text file, and it shows me that they're actually linked. Why you'd want to use this text file option is up to you, but in many times, we have a lot of global variables that we want to be able to change quickly, and it's easier to do in a text file versus this equation manager. Additionally, you can create tools such as an Excel workbook that will automatically export a new text file for you in the correct format every time you want to do a design change. That'll make it very quick. You can link to the new file and your model will update and you've got an entirely new design. Very quick, very easy to use, and it allows you to actually control these variables outside of SOLIDWORKS, meaning you can be changing all the values without using a SOLIDWORKS license if you have a busy network, then the next person who opens up the file will get the most up-to-date version. Today we took a look at how to link our global variables to an external file. Thanks for watching.